This episode is brought to you by ThePuzzler.com. In this video, we will be taking a look at what are palindromes and tips and tricks with dealing with them. What are palindromes? A palindrome is a word, phrase, or sequence that reads the same backward as it does forward. In this video, we will only look at numeric palindromes, like 53,735. Here are some examples of palindromes. Can you think of an example? Were you able to think of an example? Write your answers in the comments below. It's time to test your knowledge with some practice problems. Your first problem, how many three digit palindromes are there? Pause the video if you would like more time. Were you able to solve it? The correct answer was 90. Here is an explanation. Let our three-digit palindrome be ABA, where A and B represent digits. To find the number of palindromes, we just have to find the total number of possibilities. There are 9 possibilities for A and 10 possibilities for B. Thus, our answer is 9 times 10 is equal to 90. Are you ready for problem 2? How many palindromes are there with n digits? Your answer should be a formula. You have 30 seconds for this problem. Pause the video if you need more time. Were you able to solve it? To solve this problem, we're going to need casework. We have two cases. Either n is even or n is odd. Let's look at both cases. Let's look at case 1, the even numbers. In a unique palindrome, we just have to determine the first half of the number. This is because the first half is mirrored over to the second half, giving us a unique palindrome. That means that we just have to determine the first n over 2 digits. There are 9 choices for the first digit and 10 choices for the other digits. That gives us our formula. This is similar to the last case. Let's look at case 2 now, the odd numbers. We divide by 2 like last time, but this time we round up to account for the middle unique digit. So our formula is The last problem was a tough one. Hopefully you learned something about palindromes and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Here are some problems for you to try on your own. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. You can find more awesome content at thepuzzler.com.